Commuter railroads aren't always thought of as the most attractive forms of transportation, but on the west coast of the U.S., that's hardly the case. The Pacific Surfliner runs right along the California coastline, offering scenic views and efficient service. We've looked at this route for Microsoft Train Simulator before, but can its recently released sequel bring even more of this landscape to life? We'll catch the second wave at the rail yard. I'm picking up good vibrations. She's giving me the excitations. I'm picking up good vibrations. California has always seen a wide array of railroads, and this route demonstrates this. Jeff Farquhar's Surfliner 2 includes tracks from Los Angeles to San Diego like the original, but now also features the northern portion of the Pacific Surfliner route to San Luis Obispo. If you obey passenger timetables, the entire route takes approximately eight and a half hours to traverse. The route sees no less than six separate railroads. Amtrak, Metrolink, and Coaster handle commuter traffic, while BNSF, Union Pacific, and the short Santa Maria Valley Railroad haul freight. The attention to detail on this route is sharp. You'll pass plenty of buildings and vegetation which fill the route very well. The signals are accurate and there's even animated switch stands on the sidings. While the route is set in the modern era for services like the Coast Starlight, you can get away with running the Southern Pacific's Coast Daylight, led by the famous 4449. It requires some imagination, but since this is the route it ran on early in its life, it's not too much of a stretch. When you head north, the scenery becomes very diverse. You have plenty of time to see the Pacific Ocean, but you'll also pass farmlands, cities, hills, and even military bases. While the southern portion of the route is the busier and more well-known line, I really enjoy the north because it provides the chance for some wonderful sightseeing. There's nothing like watching the sunset over the ocean as you race along the cliffs. This is a rare route that offers something for every type of engineer. Passenger runs can be as quick as 30 minutes or as long as 6 hours, and freight can either be run point to point or be involved in complex switching.
On November 23, 2006, Jeff Farquhar posted the following message on Trainsim.com. Quote, Well, if no one else is building the Pacific Surfliner route, I think just maybe I will. Well, five and a half years later, he's done just that. Built a famous commuter route that brings sunny California to the entire world. The fact that this route is free shows the generosity of the community that we live in. This route demonstrates that persistence with a project can yield great results. This is an amazing route that everyone can enjoy. I give the Pacific Surfliner 2 my seal of approval with a final score of 100% and a platinum certification. The Pacific Surfliner runs right along the California coastline, offering scenic views and efficient service. Review, 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 review. While the route is set in the modern era for services like the Coast Daylight, and that's not modern. It requires some imagination, but since this route is set in the I don't know where I was going with that one.